Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Valakar Alavane, back for some more Dungeons & Dragons Online. So for this quest here, we are back in the 12, and the quest giver here is Verona Jethro. So, like all the others, we are back into the Sleeping Spell Inn for some insanity. So this quest here is definitely, again, follows along the lines of the Madness Chains that have also brought us out to this quest entrance. And as you can see, a little bit more than the last two that we've been doing for this kind of section here. Alright, so the first thing we can do is obviously we can go ahead and break our... <laughs> break everything. We'll also have a bulletin right inside here. Let's go ahead and click that. And then we're going to want to head upstairs. So, first things is, as you see, a massive fight from both sides. So, just take care of them. So, we got both. Again, both enemies. Now, once they are defeated here, So here we want to grab our servant's key and we can actually talk to the bartender here to get a little info. And we do have a locked chest here. But what we're going to want to do before that is head into the servant's quarters. Just make our way through. So basically right now they're teaming up on us. Uh, both the Lord of Eyes and Lord of Stone. Oh, that actually kind of hurt there. Luckily enough, though, we got a shrine right here. So yeah, you do got to watch out for those eyes. They, those crazed eyes really do some damage. Um, especially when there's a lot of them. So from here, we're going to want to head through our door. And we're going to see a few more guys. Now at this point, we can actually pick a side between Lord of Eyes and the Lord of Stone. Now, personally, I like choosing the Lord of Eyes side. Um, I just, I don't like fighting the beholders and everything like that. So, I pick the eye. The Lord of Eyes takes your However, doing that, the mad you gotta then fight everyone else. So, we will get a buff for the minion, the Lord of Eyes. If you chose the other side, you get Minion of the Lord of Stone. So now once we're here, we kind of got to follow his master. And he kind of wants us to get a mirror, a balloon, and some floor tiles. So again, crazy. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to head back. And we have a balloon crate here. So as you see, we don't have a balloon, but we make ourselves into the balloon. Now, when we do that, though, like balloons, we are going up. 
Now, getting hit will remove the effects from you. So you're gonna try and make your way through here without getting attacked. As you can see, they do have some traps, which again, as a trapper, you can just go ahead and get. And you just wanna make your way kinda through their obstacle course without getting hit. If you get touched, you've been popped, and then you gotta start all over. Though granted, when I say hit, it's uh, not hit with their four size or anything like that. So here we go. Oh. Wow, those beholders were quick. Alright, so, <laughs> yeah, if you die, as you notice, it does bring you right back to a shrine immediately. So all you gotta do is head back and kind of re-go through everything here. Um, so I'm not sure why it's actually forcing us to fight these beholders. Um, typically speaking, once you pick a side, the enemies of that side, they will fight you. However, you are supposed to be immune to your team. So you wouldn't be fighting the beholders, you'd be fighting just those Medusas. But either way, we go and now we got a rafters key which we can then use to head through our door So yeah, this quest is definitely get ready to die, and probably a lot throughout the entirety of this quest. There's a lot of really annoying parts. Grab that there. I'm gonna head over here and grab our collectible. And again, head through our trap. bunch of breakables now here we got our lever this lever will turn off the fan allowing us to sneak out um, we also have a path right here just kind of leads us down and out here now Once we have this, we do kind of want to take it around. And take our balloon essence all around. All here up to the top here. Before heading out for a night on the town. As a servant of the Dalkir, you should mingle. So we can Maybe talk to Belashira. 
and he's gonna remove that effect and we now have the balloon aspect now that we have that we do need to head into the guest rooms and we're gonna pick up our next crazy effect so you can head into these rooms here Get some collectibles but the one that we actually want to go into is this door here now inside we're gonna have a frozen Medusa staring at a mirror here now if you stare at the mirror you can actually interact with the mirror and we can teach the reflection a lesson so we head right through the mirror now this is again where it gets a little bit more difficult as as you're heading in here to teach the reflection every now and then it will hit you with a glass and turn you into glass now why that makes it super dangerous will shatter me or at least my other self first there she goes she is now frozen flesh does that mean the original medusa is now flesh as well so again we're heading through and we're just going to follow her here and she's going to open the door so if you can, obviously, fight her, kill her, do all that fun stuff. There we go. So, nice little extra XP. Kind of craziness. Literally stepping into the mirror. But that's not as crazy as it's going to get as we're going to become a mirror. Now, inside here, we do have a couple of chests. There's one on this side, and there's one on this side. So we're going to open the one on the mirror side. Now, doing this is also going to open the one here. As you see, no loot on that one, but we got loot on this one. So just be careful and make sure you're getting the right chest. As once you open one, you open the, all of them. So here we go. Our reflection is waving at us through the mirror here. Now this is where it gets a little bit, like I said, interesting and difficult. So you're actually gonna wanna select the thing and we wanna wave back at it. And now we're gonna bow. Just kind of follow the same things here, uh, point. Flex. And cheer. So as we do these little emotes. Poke. I think that's what he's doing. No, it's not poke. Point? No, not point. So if you type in emote list, it will give you a list of emotes in your standard chat. And you can actually kind of figure out which one it is. It might actually be beckon. Yeah, there we go. So it was a beckon. Maybe not. Oh, it's kiss. There we go. So once you copy it, it turns you into a mirror. That must mean it is the real original, and you are the mirror. Wait, monsters are assaulting your reflection in the mirror. Now as they say, monsters are reflecting a reflection in the mirror. We actually have to hop through 
and attack them. Now, if they're attacking our reflection, that's not so bad. But if they attack you, it's really, really not good. As your character is super, super weak. So you definitely want some form of crowd control. Having crowd control in here, such as Disco Ball or anything like that, super handy as, well, basically every damage that you're taking is just amplified. As you're made of glass. Definitely watch out for that charisma damage here. As you can see, it's absolute insanity and just really brutal fight here. And that lag is really not helping. Alright, so we had failed this part here. Um, Wyo is not doing her part here. So, yeah, we had failed. Again, super, super difficult fight. As you see, they're just beating on that reflection. Alright, so I'm going to go and use this. Ham. go yet again. Do I have any cake on me? I do not actually. So as you can see, brutal fight. Um, I'm actually going to buy some cake. This is, yeah, this fight, it really is hard. You want a healer? As you take additional damage, enemies take normal damage but again with all that extra damage that you take it's just ridiculous there and they 
dangerous part is because we went down. Trying to get everyone stone here. Alright, I think I got Dark Soul. You're just missing Wolfstone, uh, which is right there in the center. We'll get the Conius up. We'll get Wyo up. And yeah, so essentially you just need to survive. And I no longer have spell points, so I'm just gonna grab the stone. Almost made it through. There we go. Alright, so we got the stone. Let us get it. Wolf, if you want to run over here. There we go. She gets you up. So I'm just going to wait here a moment for my death penalty to go away. Uh, while I do, I am going to see if I have any. Bell point potions, which I do not have. So yeah, it's kind of good, just a beatdown, as you see, brutal. And we do have to save the reflection, so we still got a couple of waves left of this. Let's get myself some buffs here again. Gonna wait until that penalty has reduced itself. So yeah, it's just absolutely ridiculous and do recommend having a party. So you'll notice here with a mirror, you'd be able to take extra. So you take, so they do mention you are highly susceptible to shattering from blunt slashing and piercing damage. So aside from spells, you take way higher damage. As you see, we were getting hit by 200 to 300 points of damage. Her head. And as you can see, you also cannot fight until you are actually on that side of the mirror. That was the last wave, so we'd almost made it. Now at that point, he does port us out of the mirror, which, thank God, kind of waves goodbye. Sadly, as you see, any rems or anything like that left behind, we can't get. But we can get a little random chest here. But hey, we made it out of the mirror, and all that's left is to head back. We want to talk to the guy. And we can exchange that form there. Um, and no, we weren't missing a key. That was a key from the previous room there. So in here, 
now we can actually talk to or use this beautiful beautiful restaurant to get some spell points back and then we've got one final section to head down which is to get some floor tiles so as I'm sure you've guessed we are going to be turning ourselves into a puzzle piece tile so for this one here it's the southern section and we want to head through the kitchen doors So again, we got ourselves a uh, nice set of shrines and a whole lot of breakables. Now, regardless of which side you pick, whether you pick uh, Lord of Eyes or Lord of Stone, it will convert you into, and you will still have to do the exact same optionals. Now we do have a meat locker here. We can pick the door and inside there is going to be some uh, optionals here as well as a whole lot of breakables so it looks like we did not actually get the optional to spawn in this time but again a fair amount of breakables and now we want to proceed deeper into the basement here no staircase here. so we have a as soon as you step in as you see it locks us in now directly behind us we do have a hidden door which has a meat locker key if that's how we get that key there and then we have a power crystal and then puzzle pieces now with this one here again like the others we're gonna interact with the power crystal and so we can bluff roll diplomacy intimidate I'm gonna bluff roll And basically it says, hey, it's going to make us into a power. Now we got to actually, as you see, stand here and we can light them up. So while you're lighting them up, you do need to actually get them all. So you kind of want to do this and light them all up. So you're the power tile and it's just it's kind of interesting as you see kind of annoying to move around as we're flat on the floor it's the new diet man all right so again same thing you want to have all the tile pieces lit up Same thing. And there we go. They're going to fly off. As you notice, you can't actually jump here either. Um, so just be aware of that. And we're going to have our lovely beholder pop in again. Just like before, again, you want to light up every single piece here. And there we go. I'm gonna fly. Now if you do have been to have the ability to jump, you can head up on top of these boxes. And where that light is kind of shining through, you can hop down there. And you can actually kind of get in like a little hidden room. 
now that we've done that, we do want to head all the way out. Now we'll see our lovely beholder again. And again, another puzzle. So, and there we go. Now, once we go through all of that they're gonna fly and actually create us a beautiful oh we got one more to go the Here it is pieces now link the Kenneth crystal to the control panel they're so it lets us use our button the control panel is active for which will use. create an elevator allowing you to get up because as a puzzle piece you cannot jump And then once you have the tile piece, you're going to want to work your way back to the main room. Ah, oh, yes, that is true. There's also a chest under that elevator there. Just a random loot chest. But unfortunately, as a puzzle tile, can't jump, so... Just gotta watch yourself. Now from here again you wanna head back to the main room. Now this is where it's kind of off to the end fight. As we have now done all the bidding. And this is where we have the end fight between the Lord of Eyes and the Lord of Stone. And the end fight is a dance off. So everything that we've been assembling is a dance studio. Now we have chosen Lord of Eyes. Now we are on the team of the Lord of Eyes. Do you want to actually have everybody on your party dancing on the dance floor? Uh, you may want to have one or two people designated as actually attackers. And you're going to want to kill off their enemies as fast as possible or stun them. So Wolf, if you want to do the dance... Start dancing on the dance floor. And there we go. So, stunning them and killing them will stop them from dancing, allowing you to get those points up. So again, you want to take them out as quick as possible, and that will stun them. Now you get bonus, ch and you got to get all the way to the end. And you do get bonus chests for getting all the way up to a point. So the more people you have dancing, the faster that number goes up. So if you have any way to stop them from moving, like here we're using tactical detonation and the like so the higher your humiliation gets the actual less chests we get so if we get them all the way to a hundred percent before they even get us really anywhere we get bonus chests and bonus loot the other option is if you can't like use tech dead or anything like that to stop them you can use uh, actually kill them and go through methods like that there as well so the more people you have faster your number goes up and again if they hit zero hit points they get stunned and yeah this is the end fight so you do want to get to the total humiliation of your team 
faster than their team. And that's it. Yo, I think they want to make the challenges to the statue game. That game blows. Don't do the statue. And there we go. We got him all the way up to 100% humiliation. Oh, yeah. So we win. Alright, at that point, we can talk to our... We gotta wait until they're finished. Kinda gets kicked out. And there we go, we got some bonus chests. So you'll notice we got three bonus chests. Uh, for the chests themselves, uh, you do get one bonus chest if you get the uh, keep them under 100%. So you never reach 100%, we get a bonus chest for that. We get another one if we never have them reach 50%, and because we kept them under 10%, we actually get that third bonus chest there as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a blast, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good one all.